Yes. Showing correct. Yes. That's me only. Test word is me only. No, no, no. When I joined in, my name was also your the same. I renamed myself. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, the link we. It's done. It's going on a live. Perfect. I'm unable to see Sumanth. Is the spotlight on him? No, no, no. Because Sumanth has switched off his camera. Okay, got it. Able to see me now? Yes. Yes, Sumanth. We're live on YouTube. Mm, yes, yes, we are. <laughs> Namana, I've pinned Sumanth on the screen mm. and just pin the presentation also, and we should be good. We are getting the 10 days for the days. When the light starts, everybody else can get on mute, right, please?
okay <clears throat> hello all welcome welcome good evening to each one of you who have joined and who are joining this webinar uh, i am assuming i am visible and i am audible could someone of you confirm that uh, you are able to see me you are able to hear me yeah while the others are logging in yes beautiful i just wanted a confirmation from each one of you all right thank you all uh, welcome to this uh, webinar and you know like you have all come and signed up for this webinar the focus on the topic of today's webinar is to understand what should i as an employee you know or uh, uh, me as an aspiring professional do or skill myself on to ensure that there is a career growth which is happening i'm sure each one of us wherever we are either we could be working professionals we could be uh, students who are yet to start our careers or somebody who could have been experienced uh, uh, professional in in their respective careers there is one thing which always motivates us is growth you know we all want to grow isn't it nobody wants to stay as they are as humans we want to grow uh, we want to grow in our learning we want to grow in our uh, uh, careers we want to grow our bank accounts we want to grow our assets the only thing we don't want to grow is the you know the waste and around our belly isn't it okay so uh, uh, i'm sure uh, that that's the aspiration and that's that's exactly what uh, the focus of this session is going to be and on simple what should we do especially in a super competitive high funda area like data science data analytics ai ml these are all good buzzwords which we keep hearing around us on social media in news among our own organizations and also across our circles so what it takes what kind of skills one should be looking at and you know how can ideology the organization can help you in this journey to make to uh, you know make you grow in your careers so before i get started on the topic let me introduce myself i am sumanth while my team has mentioned a couple of aspects about me that i i mean i i head the business of ideology so what ideology will come it later but i think i i would prefer to introduce myself in a different way and i something i keep telling to my team i am probably an average i was an average student and i'm at me when i joined uh, my engineering college coming from a, a lower middle class family education was a very very important uh, uh, tool then for a transformation especially for people who are in a uh, lower middle class middle class kind of a setup because that that was used as a power tool for people to grow so my parents a typical uh, middle class family wanted me to do engineering and you know that's where i got to engineer i was a computer science engineer and i only looked at computer science engineering when i was in the four years and after that i forgot that you know something which i never really enjoyed and then worked for a year or two in an organization in an it company and that's the only companies which were offering jobs at that point of time talking about more than a decade and pursued my mba or post graduation program from iim koricor one of the top uh, business schools in this country and i think the interesting part of my career so far it's the boring part the interesting part of my career actually started post that the first job opportunity i have got once i uh, passed out of imk was with ipl indian premier league so i was working with sony entertainment television a part of ipl marketing a part of ipl launch itself so i'm i'm one of the co-founding team members of ipl india premier league ipl is a very big phenomena today uh, i'm talking about in 2008 9 when ipl just launched i happened i was fortunate to work with the likes of sachin tendulkar ms dhonis virat kohli and of course your virat kohli was, was you know was is a big name today not as big as he was at that point of time so that that has been the turning point been into education for for a good decade having trained and taught to almost 4 lakh students in terms of career guidance in terms of the skills which will enable them to grow in their careers to start their careers as well and uh, and over the last uh, couple of years two and a half years i've been heading this business of ideology which focuses predominantly on on the space of upskilling helping professionals 
who have just entered the careers who are mid of the careers or who are you know going in the careers to make them go higher in the ladder in their organizations or in the particular domain so that's the brief about me let me start getting into the session we'll make the session interactive you can always share your questions your opinions anything you would like me to elaborate on both on q and a or in chat whichever is accessible to you uh we'll make the session very succinct focusing on what are the kind of opportunities which are there in job market today especially in this data uh, arena and uh, what are the changes and happening and what, something i keep telling to my students whenever you are preparing for a career growth or enhancement you should not just be prepared for what is there yesterday or what is there today the, the most important part would be what is going to come tomorrow the anticipation you know if you are just going by the change which is happening you are tidying the change but if you are able to anticipate forecast and prepare yourself for a futuristic changes which could happen in the technology or in your in in, in, in the kind of uh, domains of you are working in then you are becoming making yourself ready for a future change as a result you will end up becoming a leader and each one of us have to strive to be leaders rather than just followers because the world itself is changing from a follower model to a leadership model all right so to get started with let's first look at some data now needless to say we are talking about data science we are talking about careers in this place uh, learning for this apart so let's back on data which always speaks the truth what is the kind of story which is happening right now especially in this field where we are talking about data and you know data science or ai ml or analytics needless to say there is a phenomenal growth in the need for data analytics just not in smaller organizations but in larger organizations today we are talking about chief data officers we talk talking about chief information officers we are talking about you know technology enabling data we are talking about data in marketing we are talking about data in every space of our life so there is a tremendous growth which is happening just not in india just not globally but as well in india and whenever we are looking at the beauty of our data is that it is geography agnostic that means it 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 makes you prepare for not just for a career in a country but a global career because the these are numbers you know they they they, they help and uh, they end up being constant wherever they are however certain sensitization towards a particular geography is important as especially when you are talking about gdpr compliances the way we use usage of the data a certain country specific understanding that is very very important but however purely from a growth opportunity it's prevalent it's there everywhere now the market size itself is phenomenal uh, and people today believe that i mean this is a very common cliched uh, phrase you would have uh, uh, heard by you now data is the new oil this is seen as the growth revenue driver for a lot of organizations sales and marketing uh, uh, you know uh, uh, basis use a lot of data i mean i i i run a sales and marketing uh, i have my own sales and marketing team and one of the things i always go back to is the data because otherwise everybody speaks a story right and that's where in every area might it be in every industry and every specific function the need for a data analyst the need for somebody who can uh, uh, you know like, uh, put across data science models in my uh, machine learning models is is very 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 uh, uh, highly needed and that means this is probably one of those hottest areas and continues to be the hottest area all right yes probably this is a phenomenon which started a few years back and lot lot many times what happens is that when a phenomena starts it also dies down for example if you remember mainframes i'm not sure how many of you can connect and understand that it was a phenomena in 90s and then it went down then dot net it went down almost every phenomena in technology has a huge high at the same point of time at some point of time it tapers down and and it becomes diluted but the beauty about this arena of data data analytics or data science is that it it seems to be a, on a rising curve still and it is going to be continue to rise at least for the next uh, 10 years or so and after that probably some certain models might come out nobody even have an understanding of it but till it has an alternative it continues to be on the growing trend yes the nature of the application of it is changing and that's what we're going to see in the next slide how is the application of this technology or understanding the skills is changing 
you have to adapt to that application but however at a core the need for a data analyst the need for a data scientist remains to continue to grow uh, from a business perspective all right and of course all this industry growing market growing all this is beautiful to hear it on the news to see it on the slides but what does it mean to me as an individual to me as a professional and that's where the last circle is such a powerful circle salary of all the jobs which are talking about right now in technology one of the fastest growing and the highest paying jobs are coming from this space of data science and data analytics that means if you are a data scientist or you have an understanding into this area you are looking at just doubling your salary sometimes it's uh, 10 times some people have actually gone up to 400 times of their salary now those numbers are mind boggling because of the dearth of the talent now why is this happening it's always a supply and demand chain it always goes there's so much of demand as i told you every industry every domain every function needs a data scientist each of them uh, dependent on data analytics so when there's so much of demand yet there is supply is restricted you can ask me uh, sir aren't there so many training institutions aren't there so many people who are doing all kind of learning in data science then why is there a shortage when the right the, the, the key word i've used is talent no talent is not equal to anybody who can who learns talent is equal to quality of what you have learned and how are you applying so the quality talent is the question mark right now reports say that almost every company every domain is today complaining that the quantum of jobs they have in data science and uh, you know for every seven jobs they have in data science they are only able to find one talent one resource that means for every each job there are six more opportunities and i'm talking about jobs everywhere and just multiply that into that and see the kind of opportunities which are there so opportunities are there the question is are we ready am i as a professional am i as an individual ready to be sucked into that opportunity to get cling on to the opportunity and make that opportunity my own right now that's the question we need to answer and that is a preparation we need to focus on now this is a place where let me also bring to you another very interesting uh, uh, change which is happening today data science is not it is not just seen as a technology it is actually seen as an application into various domains what do i mean by that how do i apply data science or data analytics into healthcare is the significant shift which is happening so you might be from any industry the beauty right now is that you can be a non technical person as well uh, one of the philosophy people carry is that okay this is technology so if i if i'm a person who does not is not keen on technology how do how can i get into this uh, careers into this area now i like the example i said i am a non tech guy i never enjoy technology but today i adopted and i i you know i i apply a lot of data analytics in the decision making so there i am not actually being a technology person i am more focusing on the application of it into a particular do domain for example I, i i focus on data analytics on creating the right products products which would help uh, my learners i focus on the data analytics in focusing on the sales and marketing in optimizing the sales process in doing programmatic marketing all right so the application of the you know this technology is where today the world is moving in so if you are a professional and you want to be ahead in careers if you want to be ahead of your competition of your colleagues who are elsewhere present in just not in the organization but elsewhere also the key the the secret sauce the mantra here is that get into application of technology across domains in our batch of ibm and uci and that's the context of which we are we, you know we are also meeting today uh, we are work with ibm and uci in launching a, a data science program one of those uh, uh, students there you know from our current batch is a nutritionist and she is learning data analytics to see how can we apply data analytics and data science into nutrition food you know into health in, into that area the other person for you know one more learner for me is coming from a supply chain management background and today data analytics into supply chain is becoming a huge phenomena area companies like amazons 
your flipkarts your mintras they're all struggling and they're all looking forward to for uh, uh, an list who can probably optimize the entire supply chain process so if you are able to similar in healthcare you're talking about uh, healthcare informatics i'm sure you guys have uh, for you know the latest ad which has come on ultra human where shreyas ayer was wearing a badge on his you know on his arm and that was giving all the analytics about how he's performing cricket you know how what kind of shots he is playing what kind of how is his metabolism going on where are the highs he is getting in where is how is his glucose levels uh, are moving when he is uh, running you know where is his heart pumping higher so the entire analytics just not at a performance of sports but even at a health management level has started coming into picture this is what we call as health informatics now that's a beautiful arena you know that that's again an application which is happening out there i'm talking about in sports do you you follow uh, uh, world cups you follow t20 you follow ipl you see a lot of analytics which comes into it experts commentators refer to analytics and they start commenting about it all this is moving around the key area of data science and data analytics all right so the what is the good news here the good news here is that twofold one if you are a person who is in this who understands this technology and are able to apply it to various domains and that's exactly what we teach you through our programs also we we, we will you know we, we we teach you on at least on five domains how do you apply that right now five prominent domains so if you are able to understand the technology and its application you always have an advantage because you come with the power of two you know you 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 understand technology and its application and i repeat this going forward more than pure pet technologies application is going to is 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 the key and that's what future is looking at as well similarly if you are a person from one of these domains like i referred to an example earlier a nutritionist she learns the technological tools on you know the data analytics and data science and then she applies into her own domain she is again ahead of the curve so either ways it works to your advantage so either you understand the technology and apply to a domain or you understand the domain you learn the technology so that you're picking you're combining both of them and that's where jobs are becoming higher which means now i'll ask you a simple question how many domains do you think are there in this world sales marketing uh, you know uh, 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 real estate i'm talking about uh, uh, retail i'm talking about healthcare and law one of the programs we are working right now is ai in law programmatic contract drafting i'm talking about law you 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 pick up design you pick up uh, uh, you know uh, architecture or oh, you name it you need data in it you name it you can be, you can look at a career there including media and entertainment today media and entertainment uh, you know for, uh, needs a lot of data analysts data science glamorous jobs and amazing uh, uh, opportunities imagine ott you are able to uh, you know netflix is and amazons of today apply a lot of analytics in understanding what which show works how do i book as the recommendation of which show to be watched what kind of in fact uh, netflix does a huge data algorithmic uh, understanding of understanding what kind of uh, genres are audience preferring and as a result focuses on its production towards those genres right so that's the kind of application you know uh, people are looking at and that's the power of you understanding it now all this is beautiful for for a lot of you people you might be already aware of this all right but the reason why i wanted to brief you and i took this first 15 minutes or so to brief you on that is because you need to understand when i keep saying there are two very important things whenever you are looking at a battle or a war a why am i there in that war what do i have out of it was it, it you don't you don't want to fight every battle right it's a waste of energy time money and everything else is it an important battle now if uh, uh, does it is it important for me to equip myself with uh, the, the this kind of technological skills answer is yes is it important for me to understand the application of these skills absolutely bingo there so that's the why then the next part comes in okay now why i understood why i want to do something and obviously the why there is you want to have a career growth and you want to be ahead of the curve but the most important then comes is okay so what should i do now and how do i go about doing that all right now that's where i think i want to bring in the solution which ideology has developed now is this the only solution in the market absolutely i'm sure a lot of you might be considering other options as well but at least for my side 
I'll be honest and share with you what went through our thought process. Because one of the philosophy I come, I come with, you know, I, as I told you, for me as a philosophy, I always believe that education is, has a power to change careers. This is a story which I keep telling to my students, since most of you are still not my students and probably that's the reason why I want to share this story with you. So I come from a lower middle class where uh, uh, the greatest holiday, and I come from South India, you know, from Hyderabad, a greatest holiday was, is when my father uh, takes us out to a movie and the popular hero then was Chiranjeevi. I'm not sure how many of you have heard about, you know, uh, 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 the Telugu uh, erstwhile superstar, megastar Chiranjeevi. And we used to go on a Baja Chetak scooter. My father, we were two siblings, my younger brother and I, we were sandwiched between my father and my mother and go to a movie. And that was a, 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 a brilliant holiday for us. All right. And, and that, that, and we used to wait for a, a, when, when the movie gets released and that's how we used to go. Now that's, that's how, that's the kind of economic status in which I have grown up. But what changed my life and my younger brother's life is education. I happened to uh, pursue my education from one of the top business schools of this country. And then I worked with the likes of Dhonis and Tendulkas and Virat Kohli's, a very aspirational career. All right. And after that, you know, probably from all the kind of, from a, being a lower middle class family today, I am an upper middle class family, uh, you know, stature. My younger brother, education today he, he heads the you know he is he, among he heads the technology of visa cards so that that's the power of education that's where education is so very close to my heart and then we as uh, ideology uh, conceptualized this program the first con uh, logic we all the first thought we always okay how do i empower my learner because how do i bring the power of education so that whoever is going through this particular program when they come out, they have a transformation in their career. Like the way I experience a transformation in my career, financially, at a stature wise, at a respect wise, a connect wise. How could, how could we ensure that uh, our learners who go through this program have such kind of a transformation in their career? You know, the, the key phrase I, I would like to use is transformation of your careers. That means you can change domains, you can change fields. From being at, at, at a two position, you can go into a 22 position. For me, transformation is not two to three. Two to three is, is a natural growth which happens anytime. But the reason why you go through such kind of learning programs is that so that you can catapult from a point of two to 22. And that's when the maja is. That's where the, you know, the, the, the entire you know, impact and the effectiveness comes into picture. So when we were doing that, the question is very simple. What if I give it to my learner? What if we teach to our learner? How do we fight, give the particular learning program? It will move them from twenty to uh, from two to twenty-two. Now that's where two very important aspects have come out. One, whenever you're talking about uh, application, whenever you're talking about uh, 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 technology, etc., there are thousands of teachers who can teach you that, and there are thousands of teachers teaching you. But when you learn it from the best, you become the best. When you learn it from the best, from the horse mouth, when you learn it from the right people, that's when you move from two to 22. Otherwise, you will move from two to two and a half, to three, to three and a half, and that keeps moving on. By the time your competition is at 22, 44, 66, and they keep multiplying there. And when we have reached, and, and, the, the, and the, when I use the word best, the best should come from industry. Imagine, industry professionals who are innovators in data science who are patent holders who who are actually futuristic in their uh, uh, innovations come and teach you the kind of learning you get there and they come and teach you at a very basic level do not even you know assume that okay these are innovators or these are the kind of practicing professionals do they teach me something which i don't understand absolutely no for a non techy non techy person, for somebody who does not come from technological person, uh, uh, you know, background, for somebody who does not come from a coding background, they come to that level, and a practicing professional who is applying data science, data analytics in their day to day life across various domains, they come and teach you. The learning would be multiplied. The learning would be amazing. That is the first concept you want to do it. So we want to we wanted to bring in the industry practicing professionals, the best of them to teach you. And nobody today is a better than IBM 
which has the largest patents and the largest innovations and applications in the space of data science. They professionals are teaching you. This entire program is designed by them, delivered by them. Every session is delivered by them. Plus adding, you know, uh, experts from various industry elements also the best from that. At the same point of time, I also wanted, we also wanted to add one more power there. Yes, one is industry power. The second important power tool is academia. All these are learning programs. End of the day, when, when, whenever you go through a learning program, the impact comes in when? When you are, uh, uh, when you're able to, uh, you know, get a certification or a validation that the, whatever you're learning is amazing. And the people who can validate these academic institutions. And if that can be validated by just not a top Indian university, but a top global university, then whatever you are learning is, is accepted globally because I, I keep saying it, you don't have to aspire just to be a, a, a good Indian professional. You should be aspiring to compete in a global environment. There the salaries are different. The league is different. The stature is different. The aspiration is different, right? A different league altogether. Now that's a place where we brought in University of California, Irvine, UCI, among the top 10 public universities in the US. Now that is what we call as the power of two. It is just not one masala, double masala. And I'm sure, the, you know, the, because I come from a lot of media background, you will use, you will see a lot of, uh, you know, media language as well. Uh, uh, and, and that's the reason why I think my team has also preferred to use a, a media, you know, a movie poster out here. Any one of you take a guess on which movie are we referring to right now? Yes, the, the, uh, no, the latest blockbuster referring to Vikram Veda. Now imagine two powerful star cast, Hithik Roshan, Saif Ali Khan, come together you know, you know, in a format. And then the experience of the movie is different. Similarly, when we were designing this program, the idea was to bring the best of the two worlds, best of industry, best of academia, combine them so that when you come out, you're not just learning from the best in one arena, but you're learning from the best in both the arenas and you're getting the power of two so that you're able to double your careers, not just a single growth, right? Now, so what does this mean? What does it mean? You know, what, what does this, but in this particular program, the value it adds to you as, as an individual, I keep saying it, one, whatever I'm creating, I might have created a beautiful, you know, a very high, which I assume is, is a fantastic dish. But end of the day, the taste of it should matter to the, to, to the uh, end person who's consuming that dish. So, and it has to be palatable to that person and he or she should enjoy that dish, all right? So what does this kind of a medley, this, this, this dish which has been garnished with two beautiful giants, how does it add value to your CV? How does it well add you to your career? And that is the most important part, uh, you know, we need to understand because end of the day, it doesn't add value to you. I, I mean, a lot of people like or enjoy iPhone, but as long as the end of the day, if you're not able to, you don't connect with it, however premium it might be, it is still a distant uh, uh, you know, for you. So let me make you understand how this is going to be helpful to you. The first and important uh, thing which you get through this program is an IBM badge. Now, yes, IBM certificates, we all talk about certifications. You know, you go to uh, other uh, uh, online learning platforms, et cetera, you keep getting certifications, et cetera. Certification is one aspect to it. In fact, IBM itself partners with a few of other uh, uh, um, online learning platforms and provides certification. But when it comes to badge, the power itself is different. Badge is a very, very premium segment of uh, uh, IBM. Like, for example, in Samsung, you have 8,000, 5,000 mobiles, but then the latest, you know, Samsung, which can, you know, which uh, folds, which opens, etc. is a different league altogether. Not everybody can have it. It's a premium league, right? Similarly, IBM badge is a premium league. IBM badge is, is awarded only if IBM professionals teach. If they, uh, you know, uh, uh, qualify you, if they, be, they uh, uh, mentor you in industry project, and they certify that you are ready to be taken by any other organization at a high level. Only then IBM badge is offered to you, all right? And this program offers you IBM badge because all what I've told you are being done by the IBM professionals. They are designing the program, they are teaching you the program, 
they are mentoring you in your uh, uh, capstone projects they are making you apply this learn knowledge in various industry and then they are providing you this batch all right now what does ibm batch itself why is it so powerful i'm just giving you a simple example in a company like infosys all right people who have ibm badges infosys is a service company it goes to its clients who are in the us and other global markets and charges the clients uh, at least 200 times i mean at least i mean i, I, I mean two to three times more than a normal salary they would have for than a normal person they would have you know asked for that means if you if you are if i if infosys is charging let's say hypothetically 100000 usd for one resource who does not have ibm badge visa v somebody who has an ibm badge they charge 400000 usd from a client so when it is more money for the for a, for a, for a company how does the company treat you they will treat you higher so you can get better appraisals you can get better salaries you will get better opportunities if you are carrying an ibm badge now this is a digital badge you can put it on your linkedin you can use it in your signature when you send an email you can use it on your whatsapp you can all use it on your resume it is visible everywhere it's unlike a certificate which you have to carry it's a badge you can flaunt it on your linkedin the minute a, a potential recruiter sees that you have an ibm badge in data science or in ai ml oh okay this is the person i want to go on hire okay let me first have a conversation with them and because it's an ibm badge and not just a certificate the value of the conversation would be higher you can sell you can always tell them you know what if you if i come to your company and because i am carrying ibm badge phenomenal you you know you 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 can tomorrow use my badge for your benefit so in that case why don't you pay me more as simple as that if not you somebody else will pay for me so that's the uh, you know that's the value that's the power of that badge it gives you a better con better visibility in re recruiters it gives you a better conversation during salary conversations and appraisals and inherently it has a higher value at an organizational level all right now the second important part is that okay one the outcome badge which you keep getting in but the other very important part is that this entire program is the taught by ibm people you know and and you are actually also mentored by them the projects are being created by them okay you know what what kind of for example there's a project which they are doing towards uh, 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 retail you know in retail e-commerce what how do we apply that now imagine people who are actually solving those business problems bring that and teach you how do we do that suddenly when you go to a, a prospect to a recruiter or in your own company if you want to change in job you want to shift a particular area you want to move into you know high paying jobs you also not just possessing the technological uh, uh, capability but also the application of it because it has been taught by a professional and because he, he or she has taught you the application of it in the way they have been applying so your learning is extremely close to what industry needs as a result you can be immediately imbibed into on board into the industry anybody who is readily deployable always has a preference in industry so ibm batch the learning you getting through this professionals because it is not taught by some tom dick and harry some professional from some place or some uh, you know a, a teacher from some place with due respect to all all of them this is actually taught by ibm professionals now the third which is a, a you know a, a binary product of all this is that with ibm we have also uh, come out with a model where because it's such a powerful program and they have designed it and they have mentored people and they have taught you all the top performers will get an internship opportunity if you choose to and you will also get a job interview opportunity with ibm yes you know i do appreciate and understand nobody can guarantee you a job because i can only take you to the uh, i can only put the food a uh, 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 nice meal in front of you eating is your responsibility okay unlike you know uh, we are all grown ups so mommy and daddy might not be feeding us even today but the, the, the you know the, the, the best thing which happens is you are you are if you are among the top performers meeting certain criteria which ibm have said and there are people who have done that already 
you actually get an a job opportunity with ipm not with uh, any job of ipm i'm talking about into the innovation centers into the application centers into the you know the, the high paying jobs of ipm all right now that's the other power you uh, know advantage now these are some of the advantages there is a much more elaborate list but what i chose what we chose to put here is probably a few for you to understand how you know the value it can add to that now let's come to the we have done with vikram let's come to veda you know we have done with one power house one power star you now let's come to the other power star of this particular program all right which is uci university of california uh, you know the distance uh, uh, learning or you know it's called as continuous education and i'm sure most uh, for the working professionals and etc most of these universities uh, uh, have a school called as uh, you know uh, uh, continuous education now what does uci do uci of course first of all uci does not give certification like chocolates it does not distribute that they validate the cu curriculum on few parameters one first of all is it a global standard curriculum that means is it a program which a uh, highly reputed among the top 10 universities in the us if i am putting my name behind it it has to be highly reputed a uh, curriculum once that is done the people who are teaching it and everything is certified then a university like uci will come and say okay what this is a program i would like i i am keen on validating i'm keen on uh, you know uh, saying that it has a standard so you get a uci original transcript which means it is equal to people who are studying offline in uci all right so they give this original transcript of certificate only to people who are studying in uci physically and if you ever want to get an admission into uci you should have a tremendous gre scores and gmat scores all right now in through this program the power of this program is so phenomenal that uci will felt that okay this is a one which is really useful for the learners so we will be you know seeing them alike as their uh, uh, you know uh, of, of physical university students you get an alumni status of uci imagine i am i could have proudly claimed saying i am an alumni of uh, uh, imk and it's a reputation which always carries on you know on on my uh, resume on my profile something i proudly always carry on you know in in my life so you become an alumnus of uci yes there are multiple other alumnus you can get from various other uh, 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 online learning part but the power of uci is different just not that they will actually give you credits of that university that means tomorrow if at all you have an aspiration to further study into a masters or any higher education you can use the credits of six credits of uci that's close to one fourth of your learning into some other you know into any other university's masters almost 20 universities uh, are accepting uci credits and you can use it there so you can continue your higher masters which would have otherwise been difficult which also means you are actually saving up to 25% of your cost which you are otherwise spent so an original certification of uci and you say among the top 10 you have the uh, you know the uh, uh, alumni status membership the entire networking of university of california the entire pride factor around behind it something which you can be proud at your family in your colleagues you can go to your boss and say you know boss i have i am an alumnus of university of california you can talk to your counterparts in the us and other places and say you know what i am a alumnus of you know uci and i have learned from ibm professionals now can see what what kind of aukad i have you know what kind of a stature i have what kind of a caliber i am bringing in onto the table so the combination of this power of this two will give you the advantage of industry the top industry the academia and i mean if, if imagine see always understand this is a competitive space whenever a company is trying to recruit whenever you, your boss is trying to appraise you you know or do your appraisals it's always a comparative game unfortunately whether you like it or not it's a very competitive and competitive even india when india was selecting its t20 world cup squad i'm sure a lot of people have felt bad that sanju samson has missed you know uh, between rishabh pant and uh, dinesh karthik who should be considering all oh, everywhere it is a comparison rishabh pant or dinesh karthik all right uh, uh, you know uh, 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 bumra or somebody else so whenever it's a comparative element ask yourself one simple thing when it is a comparison between two of my colleagues at an appraisal am i scoring 
I, 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 am I scoring better than the other person? That means, do, did I get the best of industry? Did I get the best of academia compared to what they have done? Imagine somebody puts a certificate in front of your boss saying, you know what, boss, I got an IBM certificate. And you put an IBM badge, boss, I got an IBM badge. Oh, okay, I, I got, uh, you know, some uh, uh, university certificate. I got the top 10 university certificate from UCI, which has more power, which will impress the conversation better. I don't think I don't have to elaborate much on this. So that's, that's how you make it the power of two. In every aspect, ask yourself, am I Delta better than competition? Have I learned it from the best? Am I, uh, you know, do I have the best credential to carry? If the answer is yes, you will always continue to be ahead in your career. You don't have to run, people will run behind you. Now, I think ideology's whole role in this entire game is very simple. We want to, we are a global ed tech company. You know, um, I, I might be in India, but understand this is a company which is so based in India. Is, is is actually a global ed tech company. Okay, it's it's it, 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 it's an European company, and you know we are operating out of India, uh, because uh, you know Indians are probably smarter in that sense. But uh, uh, and we have learners across the globe. All right. And the focus of it all has always been simple. A, the needs of organizations in the, the kind of workforce, the technology, the skills are changing every day. Like I told you yesterday, knowing data science is is amazing. Today, know, knowing data science or data analytics is common. Applying it is amazing. Tomorrow, we're talking about meta. Tomorrow, we're talking about something which is very futuristic in nature. That is like, going to be amazing. So our endeavor has always been one simple philosophy. Understanding how the needs are changing in job market, we should equip our learners with those skills. Skills which are not just for today, but skills for tomorrow. So that at any point of time in our, in our uh, learner's career, they are always growing forward. There's a continuous growth which is happening. I don't want you to train you. It's not like an IIT uh, coaching institution which trains you. Okay, you get into IIT, I forget you. No, careers doesn't happen that way. It's not one-off instance. You should always continuously imbibe yourself with career skills so that you are staying ahead. And that is a fundamental philosophy of ideology. As I told you, education company, education first, learner centric, and whatever will help you to continuously grow in your career, to transform your career. That's my responsibility as an organization. That's our responsibility to build you. And, the, and that's where we've been working on a different kind of programs. Like I told you, IBM and UCI. With KPMG and another big giant of industry, we you know we are launching a techno manager programs, creating techno managers. Okay, now working on uh, uh, space design, AI in law, healthcare informatics. So these are all jobs. These are all jobs of today and tomorrow. So that's where the entire focus of of ideology as a as 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 a as a learning platform, okay, is to bring the best of it. Is to, you know is to bring those best on a particular platform, which is highly on technology. And obviously, we are a technology platform, so we ensure that you are getting the right exposure, right experience of learning, and that's how you are and your upskilling and your career enhancement is happening. Additionally, what we have also done is we have taken up something called as Career Plus Plus Initiative. Now, this is an initiative. While every people talk about technology, people talk about skills and every, uh, you know, entirety of it. But what is also eventually important are two aspects. One, you need to understand the uh, other related skills also. For example, how do we prepare for interviews? How do we create uh, you know, CVs? How do we create uh, uh, profiles which will impress people? Technology is one aspect. But the other aspects are ability to understand cognitive thinking, problem solving. These are all other skills which are tested. So one, ideology, its own through its own experts, trains you on that kind of a skill. And I'm one of those experts. And I, I have been, I, as I told you, I've trained four lakh or people on these skills, which today they are across various organizations. All right, to train you on skills which are not just not technical, but adjoining the you know understand the negotiation skills. How do we ensure that in, in a team you are able to get the work done? 
decision making so these are the skills now that is one part of it the training part of it but the other in- interesting part you know as uh, i'm doing a mentoring we do a lot of mentoring with our uh, 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 learners to understand what are your career aspiration because i don't want to give you guidance which is not in line with your career aspiration so there would be one to one mentoring there would be a group mentoring you know understanding your profile like as, as i told you how do i know that one of my students is a nutritionist because i spoke with her understood her aspiration how should he wants to apply that now if you that is that kind of personalization which is very very important because each of your careers are your own okay they might not be identical like somebody else so i cannot give you one size fits all solution so this entire customization is again a process of our career prospects initiative uh, but the other very important element is also to provide you opportunities so we are we, we, we like with the uh, ibm we said okay you know what the, the the top performers give them a job interviews and we will prepare them for the job interviews technical skills ideology prepares you for job interviews ibm gives you opportunities what you lack it up similarly we are all we, we have been working with multiple other uh, companies you know different uh, uh, partnerships which will provide you opportunities my goal is that anyone who wants a job change anyone who wants a better salary anyone who wants a career growth happening to we should be an enabler towards that now if you were to ask me to promise the answer is no because unfortunately nobody even if somebody were to promise you you know what i will give you a job i will give you b i will give you c this is all a marketing drama eventually they will come with a lot of terms and conditions so i don't want to go with any such kind of a falsehood commitments or etc we as an organization believe in giving you the right skills empowering you with the right uh, opportunities and training you for those opportunities then you are not just getting through that particular opportunity you are preparing yourself for a life for a career the greatest of the teachers never prepares the students for a examination they prepare the students for a career they prepare the students for their life come what may their success in life is the philosophy and it's exactly the philosophy through which ideology operates and that's that's what we bring to your table so in summary there is ibm giant there is uci top uh, uh, you know uh, 10 uh, public universities in the us and the central lining factor ideology which focuses on getting you helping you to get a better jobs helping you to grow in your careers in terms of the right skills and the right combinations so while everybody talks about the you know the, the amazing food some we would have had you know we putting the right but end of the day the chef who brings in all those things is is also very is in a centrally very important part of this entire story all right and we are we are that chef which are bringing in you the right combinations to ensure that your career is growing and it's it's growing continuously okay that that's that's for me uh, uh, the overall view of this particular program on what kind of careers and you know how you should be prepared while this conversation is happening let me also look at some of the questions i think some of you have been asking questions so i probably i also have a slide where i have seen a lot of people asking this kind of a common questions i believe some of this i've already answered like ibm badge and certificate you've already been through that if i do not have a, a, a coding experience i think i've answered this yes you can uh, i gave you example of a nutritionist and she does not even come from a coding and technology experience all right uh, uh, how can i ensure that i stand out from the rest learn it from the best i think the key there is learn from the best learn the application of something and learn continuously i think these are three key pointers for me you should when you learn you learn it from the best ibm uci unbeatable combination they are one of the strong partnerships you have you learn it continuously okay i learned it yesterday today i sleep no the world is changing in a very dynamic and the continuous learning is important all right and three uh, you know you, you you as i told you it's always competition you be better than other person so you always have to have that edge over the other person all right okay let me go to the chat and see some of these questions i'm going uh, you know from uh, the latest to what has been asked i want to see switch from sales to data science what is your advice oh amazing in fact there are two parts to it today uh, uh, in fact earlier today i was i was interacting with uh, with a uh, uh, israeli technology company uh, you know to see if we can partner with them in offering some of the programs and one of the program which they have proposed a very interesting program is how do we enable 
uh, the data science and data analytics skills to sales people to make them better. So we are talking about data science and data analytics into sales. So uh, uh, I know your name because I'm seeing it as test Vora. If you can let me know your name, I'll probably address you by your name. And I really like to address my students by names. The answer is A, you can shift from sales to data science. Absolutely, there's no restriction. That's a very common phenomenon which keeps happening. <coughs> Sorry. At the same point of time, you can also look at combining both of them also, the application of data into sales. Suddenly, you would become a sales leader, you will become a sales head, your entire career graph itself shifts. So when you have one skill already, don't just let want to let go of that skill. See, that plus this another power of two. When I keep saying power of two, you always see how do you move from two to 22, not two to two to three or two to four, right? So, so when you ever want to move on to 22, look at what kind of exponential combinations I can work on. And that's really something we can do when we are having, you know, when we are looking at our mentoring sessions, etc. to see, you know, uh, how do we look at that? But yes, to, as a starting point, you need to understand and see how, uh, understand the technology of data science and see whether you want to apply it or you want to look at a pure pay career here. All right. Hope that answers your question. I want to switch. I think this question I've already answered. I want some certificate webinar from IBM. Absolutely. Uh, 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 I will probably communicate with my team. We keep doing these webinars from uh, IBM also. Uh, the team out here, probably the next session, let's plan it with uh, uh, IBM. And I'm, I, I'm, I have also been told this session, which is planned by UCI also. So you can always attend those sessions also. Absolutely. These sessions keep happening on, on a weekly basis. So uh, they, they, there's a pattern. So today I've taken a session giving you an overview. Next session would happen by you know IBM heads. Then we you know we will have UCI set of people, and they will also be planning for the sessions. Okay. Uh, Tilaga, thanks thanks for the question. Uh, will this be different from the information available on website about the topics? Absolutely no, ma. It's all the same. Probably the way I explain because I'm, I'm I'm probably a good teacher. I'm not too sure you know my uh, other colleagues have explained that we are not. But yeah, it, it's the same information. You know, everything is whatever we told is what is there, and this is exactly what you get. Also, there's nothing wrong about it as well. Right. Uh, the next question is why should I choose an online platform for upskilling? Purely from the convenience. Uh, if you want the IBM professionals to come to your home or come to your school or college, that will never happen. Unfortunately, that will never happen because they are very busy. They, you know, they, 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 are, they are working professionals. So if you ever want to learn from the best, you have to go there. Look at your you know, uh, history, look at your scriptures. Whenever a student you know, like Arjuna or etc. wanted to learn, did uh, their teacher come to their home or they went to the teacher's place? Okay, so just to give you an understanding, I think today, offline, online, the lines have all removed at an acceptance very recently, UGC, which is universe, you know, grants commission, all the universities fall under UGC. They came with a statement saying whether you do an offline degree or an online degree, there is, they are both equal. We are seeing them as equal. Industry says whether you've done an offline or an online, we see you alike when we are recruiting or when we are evaluating you. So I think today those lines have been removed. So uh, which one is better is not even a question. It's about convenience. It's about which will give you, which is convenient to you and which will give you a regular access to the best. Some of, imagine UCI, for, you know, UCI, uh, 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 some of the experts of UCI teaching. Now they might not be coming to Bangalore or uh, uh, you know or Mumbai or Delhi or any of the entire two cities every week or every second week to teach you. I myself and I'll be taking some of sessions. I might not be able to travel to every place to take that, but a session like this, I could see, do it from from the comfort of my home from my studios, right? Similarly with IBM professionals, if every session is being taken by IBM professionals and you expect they cannot be there everywhere, so that's the reason why online is giving you more efficiency, access to the best, and at the same point of time, convenience. Yeah. Yes, somebody is giving examples uh, uh, 
of how uh, you know uh, data science is applied in various places right i want i think most of the questions i was able to answer uh, in this chat if there are any other questions anything else you would like me to answer address please please feel, feel to uh, you know write down and uh, just just as in as uh, 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 some of the information our team has already given there the uh, the detailed information about these programs are listed on the on the website you can always go and uh, understand what is there in this particular program you can talk to our experts who are advisors who would be you know who, who will be in touch with you to understand how do we go about doing that right and at any point of time you need to have more understanding more clarity you can always seek that and we will be providing that information uh, and I, uh, i think very soon we are starting our next cohort of uh, ibm and uci data science and aiml we are doing data science program and also aiml uh, we are starting it very soon uh, and i really would like look forward for each one of you to be a part of that program because it's a very transformational uh, programs and i really want each one of you to be transformed in your careers you becoming a better professional you growing financially you growing in your careers you know you, you uh, 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 and moving to the leadership and if ideology can be a uh, partner in that journey there is much more that is nothing more gratifying for us as a team to then to see our students succeed in growing their careers so i earnestly look forward for each one of you to be a part of this particular program it's a highly recommended uh, uh, very positive uh, uh, reviews for people who have been going through this program and i'm talking about diversity of people across the globe and i think that's a place where you also would like to be because if you are not learning from the best somebody else is learning they are moving ahead of you understand that very very clearly it's a very brutally competitive market if you are not putting the right steps somebody else is putting them and then they are ahead of you and the last thing you want to do is keep catching up every time sometimes you want to go ahead of your life also right i think a, a couple of que last questions which are also here there is wants to know how much importance and uh, opportunities does data science have compared to iml see uh, i think it's 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 it's, it's for me it will be wrong if i say a particular field is better than another particular field data science focuses on data uh, application of data understanding it and the modeling around it but any modeling needs algorithms needs to understand uh, and needs a learning how to go through that and that's where machine learning and ai comes into picture so each of them have their own uh, spirit each of them have their own opportunities uh, people apply for example you're talking about application of ai in law you know that that is depend on both of them are correlated so it's like do we need both answer is yes which one is better that that, that that's never a case opportunities are there because we need both of them the the probably the slight difference is that if you are a person who is keen little more on technology if you're clean on you know aspects like uh, uh, uh probably uh, let me uh, close this screen share now that we have it yeah if you are a person who is keen on technology if you are a person who is keen on engineering you know core techy or more into that then ai ml if you are a person more keen on uh, uh application data understanding of it analyzing of it and, and probably the the uh, you know the the decision making around it then probably data set but having said that both of them are intermix interplay with each other so it's it, it, it's wrong to say which one has better opportunities because each of them have equal and both of them have amazingly growing opportunities so i need ml experts i need data scientists i need both of them in my own uh, business and my own company so if either of them i will be looking for you and i'll be paying you well as well all right i am harsha and i currently have 15 years of experience in field of it application monitoring and observability i would like to use that use what i'm learning from this pgp in my field so in case there is an interview opportunity give, given to me does it also base what my past experience ask is yes trust me today world respect your experience one of our students who in the current batch is 15 years of experience a solution architect choosing to learn uh, i am sure uh, harisha are you there if you are there this is this is probably answering your question so one of our students right now 15 years of experience solution architect okay and he is gone into uh, you know he is learning this program so that they can apply and learn and in their own field go forward the opportunities you get is not just 
on the program you have learned the opportunities you get is based on your experience plus the program uh, you know which you have learned combination will help you to go forward so the answer is yes even with ibm etc when they interview you also and if you are among the top and they interview you or any other opportunity people consider your experience significantly as well all right so when i i mean when i recruit people or when i myself go for somebody to look forward in my previous companies they saw my experience of ipl might not be applicable into uh, uh, education but they respected it because they know that this is this is a this is these are skills i have developed this is an understanding of elements i have so that way your pre past experience is always considered yeah hope that answers your question what would you suggest for a back end developer because back end developer is already in field if uh, already field in itself which requires full focus and i believe data science is another whole new ocean as field and requires full attention equally what is your take on this oh uh, um, see now okay let me give you again i, I keep giving you a lot of personal examples because size say i am an average student if an average student like me could think like this i'm sure smarter professionals like you would be able to think in a better way uh so when i was uh, uh, when i did my education and my earlier career was in marketing okay now when i wanted to grow in my career i realized that some of these areas has a as a, a, a upper limit that means in a marketing i can probably get become a marketing head and i can become chief marketing officer uh, you know there is there, there, there is a restriction or there, there's always that ceiling for me my aspiration is always to head a business you know want to be a ceo of an organization want to be a business head of an organization that means i just cannot my my expertise cannot be restricted towards marketing i need to understand probably sales i need to understand product i need to understand uh, uh, academics how to be look at it i need to understand uh, technology so i started diversifying as i kept diversifying i started growing as well growing to higher positions so again uh, uh, i don't have your name here but uh, uh, it's coming as test wara but whoever is asked this question do you want to be in one area to one level and stop there or do you want to become more versatile give yourself prabhu yeah prabhu thank you do you want to become more versatile giving yourself more opportunities better opportunities because tomorrow if you understand that back end development full front end full stack has a ceiling point all right data science is a growing field this is also growing but the pace at which data science ai ml is growing is significantly different so you don't want to have a regret that you know what i came i i and because the more and more you go into a position and you stagnate there it becomes difficult more and more difficult for you to move into a different position or a different field so always good to have those options open whether you choose or not decision is at later stage opportunities to make yourself be ready is today's decision because you don't want a case where after one year you realize you know last year i should have taken up that program maybe i should have been a different place that regret regret do never regret not you know regret of not trying something is much more horrible than a regret of trying something you try something and fail it's fine at least you tried it but if you don't try something and then you regret it later it's 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 a horrible feeling so my suggestion as a mentor would be give it a shot diversify your profile become versatile and when because when the opportunity is there you are ready for that right okay uh the next question again i let me open the chat what is the future scope of data science tilaga i think i kind of elaborated that uh, that part earlier part of my uh, presentation Uh, how data how data science you know in the entire data analytics market is growing jobs are growing out of every seven needed jobs is only one job one talent they are having six deficiencies there across domains how it is being applied to domains how it is growing all the data we have already gone through it in in short opportunity is amazing salaries are amazing growth is amazing so if you want to be the best this is probably one of the best uh, fields to be there okay one last question uh i am a junior executive in aviation will learning data science help me grow in my job i mean oh brilliantly yes so uh in fact today if you look at uh, aviation airline airline business etc everything is moving into a data enabled decision making now there are two ways to look at it one 
it will help you to become smarter in your own domain as a result yes today is it widely prevalent in your domain answer is when i keep saying this domain application still a small thing today but to next year it's going to become bigger that next year bigger data science five years before was a small thing today it's a ocean and you are probably not at the higher point of the ocean you are now trying to get into that ocean so one of the best way to declutter and give yourself a independent positioning is able to not just learn technology like uh, you know data science or uh, you know the, uh, the data related application of data analytics etc but also application into various domains so that way you always have this advantage less b advantage however you want to use it you can want to change the job you can change the job if you want to give yourself an edge and moving ahead in your own uh, sector you always have an advantage okay and just for your understanding logistics aviation oil and gas power almost in every domain the application is prevalent it's happening it's happening thick and fast by the time you 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 sleep tonight and you wake up tomorrow you will see a story around it that's how fast it is happening so if you are not ready you would be probably in, you know in the back end of it okay good uh, it was a fun interacting uh, interaction which you all had hope uh, uh, the session has been uh, uh, engaging for you informative for you and you understood the importance or uh, you know what it needs you to do uh, you know why this kind of careers are important the application of data science and data analytics and how the power of two of uh, you know of ideology through our programs of uh, uh, you know the uh, data science and ai ml program is going to help you uh like i said my, my i i uh, you know i earnestly i uh, request each one of you to experience this program go through it whenever in education whatever you're making is an investment so the investment which will reap benefits for your career and i am a prime example sitting right in front of you virtually who have benefited from a important and a strong education system learning from the best will make you the best so choice is yours but do appreciate these are times in your in your careers in your life you have to make the right choice and if you don't make it in the right time with the right partner somebody else moves ahead of it and i want each one of you to be the people who are wise taking the right decisions and moving ahead in your career and growing ahead in your career if you trust in ideology and you join us in this journey it's a promise of ideology we will ensure that your career is being transformed okay thank you all have a great uh, evening uh, uh, ponder over it and uh, you know wish you all a happy diwali which is coming up and more such sessions which are going to happen from uh, the house of ideology with its partners to help you in your continuous career growth in transforming your careers see you bye bye take care thank you